I don't get about figure skating is how you can spin that much and not vomit. Well, they vomit before they go out there. That's how they fit in the costumes. Oh, Ooh. that had to hurt. And judging by the look on her mother's face, she's going to take quite a beating for it. And now, the Olympic snacks begin the final leg of their journey from the Greek place downstairs. <laughs> These snacks were brought to you in paper bags, the official food transport device of the Winter Olympics. <laughs> and now, she's giving her husband a kiss, the official sign of affection of the Winter Olympics. Well, you look at that lip action, Jane. They make it seem so simple, Pete. That's the hours of practice, Jane. I'm starting to feel a little creepy about watching them, Pete. And you're alone on that one, Jane. <laughs> Well, uh, one of the Canadian skaters got her skirt caught in her braces, and, and Pete cried during the phone commercial. <laughs> Excuse me for having a pulse. Oh. oh, look, it's the official father-in-law of the Winter Olympics. Uh, Dharma, the Olympics go on for two more weeks. You might want to pace yourself. Uh, Dad, what are you doing here? It's terrible. Just terrible. What's terrible? Read this. The American Association of Retired Persons congratulates Kitty Montgomery on her 50th birthday and invites her to join the millions of seniors still leading vital, productive lives. Uh, all right, uh, Dharma, uh, my father lives with us now. Your mother is having a birthday and you didn't say anything about it? Well, because technically my mother doesn't have a birthday and it was very, very wrong of these people to accuse her of having one. She shouldn't be upset about this. Someone should reassure her that she's entering the best time of her life. I tried lying. She doesn't buy it. <laughs> well, I'm going to go talk to her. No, no, no. Don't, don't do that. Greg, someone has to reassure her that she's entering the age of wisdom. An age when the woman becomes a revered elder of the tribe, no longer looked at as a sexual object. Oh, good. Start with that. <laughs> Mrs. Montgomery, there are some people here to wish you happy birthday. Should I call the police? <laughs> oh, dear God. Oh, dear God, that's... Kitty Montgomery, we're here to welcome you to the three stages of womanhood. We enter the world unsteady, unsure, innocent lambs, chaste and pure. <laughs> The years pile on like precious coins. We give birth to children, the fruit of our loins. <laughs> we menstruate no more, our children are grown. Welcome, dear Kitty, to the life of a crow. <laughs> Get out of my house! <laughs> It's ridiculous about it, Kitty. Come on, you get a sweet 16. Mm -hmm. You have a wedding, so why not celebrate this passage into the final years of your life? Yeah, because otherwise, the next big party you're going to get is a funeral. <laughs> and, you know, we'll have more fun at that than you would. I mean, well, not fun. <laughs> but, you know, we'll get to eat and drink, and we're not, you know, dead. <laughs> what we're trying to say, Kitty, is that you really need to commemorate this birthday. Oh, I plan to. Okay. Tonight I'm getting thoroughly soused, and tomorrow I'm getting plastic surgery. What? You? How can you alter your body? It's God's temple. Is it? With Milton Shapiro. God's plastic surgeon. <laughs> so, let me show you girls out. Kitty, Kitty, I know we don't often see eye to eye, but even so, we're sisters. Splendid. Then our children are cousins, and the marriage is annulled, and out you go. No, 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 oh. no. I won't let you do this, Kitty. You've, you've earned your wrinkles and your sagging breasts. They're badges of honor. <laughs> let me. <laughs> Kitty, don't do this. Because you are so beautiful, just the way you are. Although you can't go wrong with big boobs. Guys love big boobs. Jane! The bigger the better. Jane! And while you're at it, maybe get your butt done, too. You think so? Let's see, drop your slacks. We'll do the pencil test. Jane! <laughs> Dharma, Abby, 
you. <laughs> Believe me, I, I, I appreciate your coming and what you're trying to do, but what I really need now is just to be alone. You understand. Look, how about this? Kitty, give us one hour. If we haven't changed your mind by then, we'll drive you to the surgeon ourselves. No. Well, would you rather we follow you to the hospital, stage a protest, and let everyone in San Francisco know you're having your butt tucked? <laughs> one hour. Yeah! All right. Okay, so now let's all get to know each other better as women. All right. Kitty, which of the three kinds of orgasms do you most often have? <laughs> oh, you better be making this up. <laughs> You're right. That's a touching commercial. <laughs> Young boy calling his father to come home and play catch with him. You can see why they are the official long distance carrier of the Winter Olympics. <laughs> <laughs> Wanna cry about a commercial? Cry about the guy stuck in Japan with nothing but his American Express card. <laughs> hey Larry, what are you doing here? Well, Abby was supposed to cook lunch for me and she's not home. Yeah, so? I'm hungry. Oh, come in. We got uh, hummus and uh, stuffed grape leaves, the official stuffed leaf of the Winter Olympics. Righteous. Hey, Larry. Hey, guys. Hey, fellas. Who do we like in the woman's giant downhill slalom? The biggest, fattest one. <laughs> uh, I don't believe in the Olympics. Of course you don't, Finkelstein. No need to explain. <laughs> the so-called Olympics. Oh, Judas. <laughs> Are nothing but a profit-making scheme perpetrated by the military-industrial complex to inflame mindless nationalistic fervor. That's a bunch of hooey. Hey, look at that. Our hockey team has knocked the crap out of Ecuador. <laughs> hey, how do you keep this list? <laughs> Under no circumstances am I going to do that. Okay, fine. Well, we can look inside ourselves without literally looking inside ourselves. Okay. Let's everyone go around the circle and each say what you love about yourself. Jane, you go first. Okay. I really love my peaches and I'm fully capable of shaking my own tree. Yeah. <laughs> I hope that yeah. doesn't mean what I think it does. It means that I can make Never mind. Okay, I'm I mean, okay. Um, well, I also really love my peaches. And, uh, well, especially since this is the first time in about 600 years that I've reincarnated as a woman. What does that yeah. mean? <laughs> well, that usually I've had a penis. <laughs> All right, could we just move this along? I'm sobering up. Okay. Um, okay. I really love that I'm not afraid to try new things. That's yeah. true. Yeah, like the other night when Greg and I were in bed. Um, well, actually, I was in bed. He was half on the bed, half on the dresser. Would you mind, Madonna? <laughs> I'm his mother, you know. Well, then you should be very proud. <laughs> okay, Kitty, you're next. Um, I love that I'm rich. No, okay, Kitty. There's got to be something about yourself, about who you are as a person. I love that I'm a rich person. <laughs> Kitty, you know, all this wealth could be gone tomorrow. Oh, no, it can't, because we never touch the principal. <laughs> never, never, never. Kitty, no, something from your heart. Something about right. who you are. Well, I love that I'm a people person. <laughs> That's so funny, you're hysterical. <laughs> I was serious. I was deadly serious. Yep. She should have looked at her cervix. <laughs> you know, as a good skater, stinky, Sonia Henny. You want a skater? James Kahn and Rollerball? Oh. They were throwing crap at him and stuff. I mean, that's skating. You throw crap at these kids, they couldn't handle it. <laughs> now, I'll tell you who was a real skater. Goofy. <laughs> You ever see Disney on ice? Big head, big feet, didn't slow him down at all. Put a big head on one of these kids, forget about it. Hey, hey, Olympic flame. Wait, wait, we're gonna one, two, one, two, three. three. Man, they show that flame a lot. 
Hey, it's your drinking game. You know, that flame's been burning since ancient Greece. There's nothing like a grease fire. <laughs> now, there's something I'd pay to see. Disney on fire? <laughs> oh, no, more bobsledding. Oh, lame. Flame, flame. Oh, no, 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 lame, 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 not flame. Flame. <laughs> well, you look at that. That's not a real sport. That's just two guys jumping in something that's going to the finish line with them or without them. <laughs> that's just hitchhiking. You know, I used to hitchhike. It took me four days to hitchhike from Saginaw. <laughs> Wasn't that Paul Simon? Huh? I thought it was me. <laughs> flame. Oh, flame! Flame! One, two, three! <laughs> I mean, I could do that. Hitchhike? Bobsled. I mean, anybody could do that. You couldn't do that. You could do that. I could do that. You know, <laughs> we could all do that. Let's do that. What, what, what are we gonna do? Like, fly to Tahoe, rent a bobsled, and go down a mountain in the middle of the night? Good plan. <laughs>
I want a bobsled. Oh, uh, come on, guys, be realistic. Where are we gonna find a bobsled in the middle of the night? What are we supposed to do? Go down to the lake, steal a canoe, and slide down the mountain in that? Good, good plan. plan. All right. Oh. <laughs> it's not a good plan. <laughs> I changed my mind. I can't do this. I, 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 I can't. Maybe Kitty Montgomery can't, but Wanda Boonshaft can. <laughs> oh, please, I'm not Wanda Boonshaft. Well, well, wait a minute. How old is she? Doesn't matter. Wanda doesn't care. Yes, she's filled with self-confidence. And burning with sexuality. Sounds 42. <laughs> Fine, she's 42. All right, good, good. I'm on the boom shaft at 42. Uh, what do I drink? Oh, I know, wine coolers. <laughs> and um, she sleep with anything, right? I'm all... <laughs> We better stay close to her. <laughs> hey, this looks pretty good. You think we can... Stop it before we hit the lake. It doesn't matter. It's a canoe. <laughs> Shotgun. All right, let's go. Now, hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it now. Exactly. How are, how are we going to steer this thing? What's the matter, Dad? You want to quit? No, no, no. I, I was just thinking before we do this, we should take a vote to see if we really want to do this thing. What kind of vote? Simple majority, two-thirds, unanimous? You can't just vote. Oh, shut up, Finkelstein. <laughs> hey, don't get angry at me because you didn't play catch with Junior. Greg, listen to me. You're right, I was never around when you were a kid. But killing ourselves now is not going to make that any better. So what you're saying is you want to quit. Fine. I want to quit. Let's get the hell out of here. <laughs> Okay, first give me a hug. What? Why? Because you never hug me, and in the commercial, the kid gets a hug. Give him a hug. I'm sitting in a metal canoe. My boys are freezing. <laughs> I love you, Dad. That's it. I'm switching my long-distance carrier. <laughs> there you go. I think you both deserve a hug. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hey, I called shotgun. <laughs> oh, oh. Can I buy you a drink, Wanda? Fine, just put your quarter on the bar and wait in line. <laughs> anyway, after my third divorce, I just swore off army guys. Besides, nothing looks as good on a girl as Navy. Yeah! <laughs> Derma. I thought this was a horrible idea, but I must admit, I've never seen her look happier. Yep. Shallow problems require a shallow solution. <laughs> Excuse me, ma'am. Can I buy you a drink? Aw, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> but drinking with sailors is what got me in my current condition. You know what? Maybe you can help me find his papa. He was about your height. He had brown hair. Wait a minute. Drop your pants and sing Lay Down Sally. <laughs> so where are you from, Wanda? I'm not ashamed to say the poor side of town. Where exactly would that be? I don't really know, but it's gritty and people yell out the windows. <laughs> it must be very difficult to be a Navy pilot. How do you make the boats fly? <laughs> So, what do you think of the officer's club, ma'am? Oh, it's terribly exciting being around all these military men. <laughs> Listen, if you ever come to your senses and want to go AWOL, take this number. I've got friends who can get you to Canada. <laughs> Here, take them all. Give them to your platoon. <laughs> oh, 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 I get it. Seamen, 
submarine. Oh, oh. Very clever. Very clever. Oh, Wanda, you're so great. You know, you remind me so much of my mother. What? I said, sing, lay down, Sally. I want to get out of here. Now, what happened? You were having so much fun. Oh, that sailor over there said I reminded him of his mother. That one? Yeah. Uh, excuse me. Oh. Hey, you. Come here. Don't. Hey, don't. Yes, ma'am. Son, how old is your mama? Uh, 38. Excuse me. <laughs> well, she just turned 38. I love you. <laughs> I've never loved anyone the way that I love you. Okay, okay, it's time to go now. Well, Belinda, Eunice, we're out of here. He said I looked 38. Get me out of here! Ah, with a nip and a tuck, I could look 28. Hi, honey. Hi. Where you been? Uh, me and the guys uh, flew to Tahoe and went down the mountain backwards in a canoe. Oh, good for you. <laughs> what about you? Put your mom in a black wig and took her down to the Navy base to party with a bunch of drunk sailors. Good for her. <laughs> what you watching? Two man luge. Doesn't look that hard. We could do that. We could definitely do that. Okay, here's a few pointers. A shuttle to Tahoe leaves on the hour. Drink heavily, face forward, and no matter what you might think, a canoe is not just as good. 